We're a 1.4 billion euro um, engineering and technology consultancy firm. Um, we are 17,000 consultants worldwide listed here in Paris, so our headquarters is just across the, the river. Um, but we're present in 26 countries. Um, it's actually quite uh, interesting because we're, we're fairly evenly split across different industry sectors, um, automotive, aerospace, energy, and of course telecoms. And that gives us a great positioning in the connected solutions world, in the connected home um, scenarios. We work with our automotive and telecoms clients on connected car solutions, for example, with our utility and telecoms um, clients on smart metering. In a nutshell, femtocells are small base stations that sit in your living room in your home. Uh, they connect to the mobile operator network through your DSL, through your broadband uh, connection. And it's really a great uh, push from the operators to improve the indoor coverage, which is still a, a challenge. And given that 70% or 80%, whoever you talk to, of calls are made indoors, and only 2% of buildings have dedicated solutions um, for indoor coverage, you can see there's huge potential. And uh, a recent Frost & Sullivan um, study, for example, forecasts it's going to be a $6 billion market in 2016. And if, if you compare that with a 50 million market two years ago, it's just phenomen phenomenal growth potential there. I've uh, presented a few, a few challenges um, in, in my presentation. Um, one of the challenges at, at the heart of a lot of these is interference, interference management. Um, at, in the initial deployments, initial rollouts, um, that was kind of sidestepped by using different frequency bands, but obviously frequency is, is, is limited. So if you're going into the metropolitan or enterprise space, um, you need to use the same frequency bands and then you face challenges of macro femto interference um, and uplink jamming between different mobiles, etc. And we work with our clients to uh, identify and define new algorithms and new clever approaches to uh, manage the interference. Also, another challenge is the femtocells, the very nature of femtocells means they have to um, interoperate, work with different technologies. Obviously, it's an extension of your micro network. Um, it, it needs a fixed line DSL or cable that it needs to interface with for your backhaul. Um, you have Wi-Fi in your home, in your office, and it needs to interoperate with that and now we see more and more machine to machine obviously and and femto has a great potential to um, <laughs> help shaping the machine to machine communication but it it also means the standards have to be clearer um, and and the interfaces have to be well defined because it's just a multitude of different devices talking or, or talking to each other um, and the femto cell it, it's it's two worlds colliding between the well-managed, secure, performance-monitored operator network and the home network of people just setting up a router or a um, little network at home. And the femtocell is right in the middle. So that's challenges where, again, we work on self-optimization, auto-configuration, finding the right tuning of, for the femtocells to work in, in, in those environments so that uh, the, the customer support calls are reduced and the user experience is, is high. Uh, speaking about services, so IPTV, mobile TV is, is, is a big um, topic. And for example, we're managing an IPTV platform for one of our customers in, in Spain. Um, it's, it's, it's right there, but there's video is, is, is going to account for 50, 60, 70, 80 percent of, of the traffic in, on, on the internet. So um, the network has to be prepared for that, and you have to try and offload your heavy users and, and your data as soon as you can. So the femtocell again is something uh, is a device that can help you achieve that fairly um, efficiently and effectively. Um, another area that we're heavily involved in, and I mentioned it in the beginning, is, is connected solutions, connected car, um, smart metering, connected home. There's a lot of, we're just at, at the beginning of, of get finding our, our feet in, in, in that space, finding the real 
um, value that, that you can um, monetize as, as, as an operator. It's a very interesting event and I mean the success um, speaks for itself. You have to move to a new venue next year. You can see a lot of people here, the whole industry is here. So it gives you a really good um, opportunity to feel the pulse of, of the industry. We're at quite exciting time right now um, where a lot of things haven't really been decided yet which direction we're going and I, I think this event helps shaping the, the direction and, and shaping the, the way we're going. Um, I've been to similar events on LTE or the Informer Industry Outlook in London a few times um, so I do enjoy um, getting getting the, the latest um, information from them from the peers and, and from uh, everyone in the industry here.